Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Chicago Conservative. And today we're going to be talking about Krusty Krab, Joe Biden again, guys. Yes, I said if he do something good, then I'll put it in the video. I guess this is good. So I guess I'm going to keep my promise. Now, earlier this week or recently, Joe Biden decided to have dinner with a black family in South Carolina. Now, he put up some cameras and, you know, he wanted to look good for the Democrats and basically, he visits this family in South Carolina. He buys them dinner. You know what I'm saying? They're having great conversation. He's talking to the father about their children and their education and what they're doing in school, activities and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? It sounds all peachy and dandy. But the big controversy is the meals that he bought, what he bought himself and what he bought this black family. So let's take a look at this nice special moment between Joe Biden and this family in South Carolina, guys. Take a look. Oh, man, you got chicken fingers. You got, you got all the <laughs> I, I want the root of making sure I had the hamburger. So tell me about you guys. What you doing these days? Why don't you share about your passion of sports? I'm playing AAU basketball right now. Are you really? You look, are you guard? Yes, sir. Now, what grade are you in? Seventh grade. Seventh grade. Right now, I'm just doing basketball, playing guard on the JV team for my school. How right, about the school? How are y'all doing in school? What's you tell the president about the school? Favorite thing about it is the business academy I'm in. We get to like travel, so we've been to like NC State, uh, Wake Tech, and we. You're we, kidding me. Yeah, we went to this small dry cleaning business, and it's just it's cool. It's a great experience. I'm impressed. Is that a new program in the school? Yes, sir, it is. It just started. The Raleigh family is still getting a lot of attention after a personal visit from the president last Thursday. 13-year-old Carter Fitz and his 15-year-old brother Christian got the education of their lives. President Biden's team brought cookout food to the family's table and shared stories. Christian recorded the experience on his TikTok page and shared his greatest memories. He was cool. He was just... A good guy. He has a lot of stories to tell. He's easy to talk to. So I wasn't like nervous eating with him. He made me feel comfortable. You know, questions just like, how do you like to run for president? Like, why? Why do you keep doing it? <laughs> Those are good questions. President Biden also posted pictures of the visit to his own social media channel. Now, can we just get the elephant out of the room, guys? Can we just do it? Why would you buy yourself a burger and the black family chicken? Oh my God, Joe Biden, you cannot be this racist. Why would you do that? Everybody loves chicken, Joe Biden. You could have eaten chicken with them. What is wrong with you? Everybody loves chicken. Did you buy them chicken because they were black? I'm just going to ask you that. Did you do that because they were black, Joe Biden? That's the dumbest move, man. You did this to pander to black voters, man, because you know the black voters are leaving you to go Republican like myself. Well, I never voted Democrat, nothing like that, but still. But this isn't even Joe Biden's first time being racist, guys. This guy's openly said in the Senate that he does not want black mayors. Well, he technically said we don't need N word um, high steppers or whatever you want to call it, or I don't know, top shotters or I don't know what you guys want to call it. But he said that. And then he went on to say that if you don't vote for me, you ain't black. That is, I don't think it get ra more racist than that, guys. But just, let's just take a look at Joe Biden just being racist. In the Nunez plan in the basement said, quote, we already have a mayor. We don't need any more big shots. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. I recognize that kid wearing a hoodie may very well be the next poet laureate and not a gangbanger. You got more questions, but I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. So we got this guy that's openly supporting segregation, but you guys want to call Donald Trump racist? Donald Trump was on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Anybody remember that episode? It's the Donald with Carlton. That was Donald Trump for real. That wasn't an actor. He supported Mike Tyson when he had his allegations, guys. 
This guy was on Celebrity Roast with Snoop Dogg, doing jokes with Snoop Dogg, shaking hands with Snoop Dogg. Did, bro, this guy freed Kodak Black. Dude, Kodak Black is blacker than me, you, and everybody watching this video combined. It don't get blacker than Kodak Black, okay? Like, how is Trump racist? Joe Biden will never do nothing like that. He got Britney Griner back. Like, come on, dude. She, she was guilty. Like, come on, dude. At the end of the day, I say that to say that the Democrats are the real racists, bro. They founded the KKK in 1865. They were Democrats. Those people that founded the KKK were Democrats. What is wrong with you people? Why would... Why do you think the Democrats would have the best interest for black people? These people don't care about us. When have these people ever cared about us? We don't owe the Democrats anything, guys. The Republicans are the ones that fought for us, died for us in the Civil War. What is, you, what is wrong with you guys? Abraham Lincoln, you guys know him, right? I know you passed history. He was a Republican. What is wrong with you people? And then you guys want to always talk about Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom died not telling on two runaway slaves. He was whipped to death. What is wrong with y'all? He made a book. I believe it was like Uncle Tom's Cabin or something like that. But that ultimately led to the Civil War, which ultimately led to the freedom of slaves. What is wrong with y'all? How, how is what Uncle Tom, I don't think that's his real name. How is what Uncle Tom did racist? At least Uncle Tom isn't a snitch like your favorite rapper, like Little Whoop Wop or whatever the hell y'all be, who y'all be listening to nowadays. I don't know. But these dudes be snitching. At least Uncle Tom ain't snitch. If somebody call you an Uncle Tom, my fellow black conservative, tell them at least Uncle Tom ain't snitch like your fellow favorite rapper did. Who do y'all think Uncle Tom is? Oh, y'all think Uncle Tom is like Uncle Rocket from Boondock. And y'all think Uncle Tom love white Jesus. And then, yeah. No. <laughs> like, what is wrong with y'all? Read a book, dumbass. I'm sorry I got a curse, but, bro, y'all people really need to stop watching too much TV. Because Uncle Tom don't sound like Uncle Rocket, okay? He don't love the white, red, white Jesus. Like, Come on, guys. Let's just start knowing what's really out there. The Democrats are the real racists. You've seen it for yourself. Look at Joe Biden. Do you really think that dude has the best interest for black people? When he signed a bill for Asians when it came to COVID. Talking about they were being racially discriminated when it came to COVID. Oh, uh, it came from China. But you're going to give them a bill? You're going to give them a hate crime, though. Like, black people ain't been... I'm not even going to go there. Cause I don't play the victim card, but everybody knows black people have definitely been discriminated against in America. And you sign a bill for Asians, you're trash. Like get them out of here. But anyways, guys, I ain't gonna make this video long. I just want to show you guys that Krusty Krab Joe Biden basically is just trying to pander to black people. So tune into the next video. I'm out. Peace.